Hi everyone, in this tutorial we're going to learn how to create this nice circular preloader animation with a nice gradient. As you see. Our circular gradient is being animated and also we have numbers that shows the percentage with a nice animation. So let's get started. So let's start by creating our circular gradient or donut shape, right? So I'm going to create a circle, uh, which has 258 uh, width and height. If you know of any other way of revealing these settings, please let me know in the comments section below. So um, I'm going to make the sweep 100% to make it a complete circle. And ratio is going to be 60%. And I'm going to center it to the frame. And its background style is going to be VG gradient and I can actually uh, name it gradient VG for keep things uh, clear you might think actually animating a preloader like this uh, basically I'm gonna make the sweep zero here to uh, make it completely invisible and go to prototype section and drag a connection from first uh, frame to the second and I can make the trigger after delay and delay one millisecond and transition smart animate and leave the rest actually as it is to see what happens so I can just check my prototype as you see there is only a fade in uh, transition so uh, as far as I know unfortunately it is not possible as of now to create animations that reflects structural changes in vector shapes so uh, we're gonna do that with some revealing and hiding with masks and rotation in order to do that I'm going to uh, duplicate my gradient BG and change its style to BG and reduce its sweep to 50% to make it a half circle and uh, I'm going to rotate it 90 degrees counterclockwise to cover the left half of my gradient background and we can name it BG left we're gonna clone this and flip it horizontally and name this BG right. And now I'm gonna clone my frame. And in the second frame, I'm gonna start revealing the gradient background by rotating BG right layer 90 degrees clockwise so uh, hopefully it will create the illusion of this background with gradient is being animated so I'm gonna drag a connection from the first frame to the second one and uh, select the trigger as after delay and duration is going to be one millisecond and uh, the transition is going to be smart animate is out and uh, since uh, 300 milliseconds would be too fast for a nice slope animation uh, in my tests two seconds was a duration that makes sense so let's check our prototype as you see our animation happening with the illusion of a uh, gradient background is being animated so I'm gonna go back to the design tab 
Uh, now we need to find a way to reveal the remainder of this uh, gradient background, right? So uh, we have our both background layers on top of each other on the left. So uh, we cannot select both of them and uh, rotate them to reveal the background underneath. What I'm going to do is I'm going to select both of the BG left and right layers and I'm going to click mask to mask one of them with the other one. So that way we can just rotate the masked background out of the mask to make it invisible and reveal the gradient background underneath. So yeah, that's what we are going to do. But in order to do that, since Smart Animate requires layer structures and layer names to be the same, uh, what I need to do is clone this frame with the mask and after cloning the frame with the masked layers I'm gonna select BJ right and I'm gonna make it invisible by rotating it out of the mask and now I can go to the prototype tab and uh, create the transitions I need, right? We need to create an instant transition to the third frame because uh, what we need here is just before starting a smart animate between third and fourth frames we need to instantly go to the first frame that has the mask layers, right? So in order to do that we just need to enter a 1ms after delay trigger and then uh, I don't need smart animate here I need an instant transition to the first frame with the mask layers so I'm doing that and after that between two frames that has the mask layers I can create a smart animate transition right so I'm gonna select after delay 1ms and this time I need transition to be smart animate and the rest can stay the same, right? So let's check our prototype. And as I see it, the animation is happening counterclockwise. So that means uh, I'm gonna actually rotate BG right back to its previous position and maybe we need to rotate the mask clockwise instead so i'm gonna try that let's select the third frame and preview my animation yes so let's check the whole animation once again actually instead of leaving and easing in the first half we can just make a linear easing right so let's check again so we can start animating our numbers right i have numbers between 0 and 100 with increments of 10 to keep things simpler for the sake of our prototype but in a developed version, you might want to show the exact numbers between 0 and 100 as percentage, right? I've seen in my tests, it doesn't look great in a fast prototype, numbers going like crazy. So I decided to keep them with the increments of 10. So the uh, first thing is going to be, I'm going to change the font size and style. 38 pixels, enter, and font weight is going to be extra bold. Line height is going to be 150%. Uh, so I need to mask the numbers with a rectangle that has 75 pixels of width and 85 pixels of height. And its background style is going to be mask. Let me just 
So this is a mask actually that has a color in the middle and in the edges the color becomes transparent to create that nice fade out effect while numbers are being animated. So I'm gonna get some closer to check. So I'm gonna select them both and click mask and I'm going to start pasting my masked numbers to the frames, right? We can rename it Nouns Mask Group, making sure it is centered perfectly. Then I'm gonna copy my Nouns Mask Group and paste it to the second frame. But this time, since the half of the animation is completed, I need to make number 50 visible, right? As the third frame is a clone of the second one, I'm gonna paste the numbers as it is to the third frame. And I'm gonna paste it to the fourth frame. And since uh, this is our last frame, I need 100 to be visible. So let's check our prototype with the numbers. As you see, everything works as we want. Hope you liked the tutorial. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already, if you like my tutorials, as I'm going to make more of them. And uh, hopefully see you in the next one. <laughs>